In this video, I will show you how to find the top 5 values from a list. I will also show you how to make the results dynamic so you can display the top 5 values based on additional filter criteria. The method that I'm going to show you can be easily tweaked to show the top 3, top 5, top 8, basically top n results. So let us look at the problem statement. I would like to retrieve the top five names by North America sales values. As a bonus, I would also like to make the results dynamic. That is, I should be able to select another additional attribute, for example, the platform. And I wanted to see the top five values for one platform or a combination of platforms. The first step would be to create a pivot table. And to do that, I would select the data that I have, the data table or the list that I have. And once I have selected the data, I would go to insert pivot table. And I want the pivot table in an existing sheet. So I would click existing sheet and click OK. Now we wanted the names by the top five names by North America sales. So I would select names in rows and North America sales in values. As you can see now, it has given me a list of uh, names by North America sales. The next step would be to sort the North America sales by uh, highest to lowest. To do that, let me go ahead and click on any of those sales values. And then I would go ahead and right click and sort largest to smallest. Now, what this does now is it sorts all the values from largest to smallest, but it does not give me the top five. To do that, I would go here to row labels. And if you see, there is a small arrow like this, a filter uh, symbol. Click that and you will see something called value filters. And when you go to value filters, go to top 10. Now, if you wanted the top five, so what it shows here is it asks you, tells you that you can show the top 10 items by North America sales. So this is what we want, but we wanted top five. So if you wanted the top three, you would put three, eight, 10, you would put the value here. So once I click OK, it would now give me the top five uh, names by North America sales. Now for the second or the bonus part where I wanted to make the results dynamic. So again, I would click anywhere within the pivot table, go to insert and slicer. Because I wanted to make the results dynamic based on platform, I would select platform and click OK. Now this creates a slicer. I'll not go into details about how to create a slicer and the various aspects of a slicer. I have a separate video which I would link in the description below. So here what I would do is I would uh, make it as four columns, make it a bit wider so it looks nice and there you have. So now once you have this, now this slicer is now linked to this table and when you click on the slicer, you will see that your table is dynamic. So if I wanted to find out the top five PS3 games, I can do it all the PS3, PS2 and PS4 games, you can do multi-select and it will show you the top five results as well. So hope this video was useful to you. And if you liked it, do hit the like button. It helps us tremendously with the YouTube algorithm. And as always, thank you and have a wonderful day.